Welcome to Power Up Podcast. I'm Anna. I'm Ava. And I'm Bella. Today we're going to be talking about a variety of things, so let's get right into it. We're back, and this is topic one. Today we're going to be talking about something that's kind of floating in the air right now due to the New Year's. Also, Happy New Year's to all of our listeners. But a new topic that most people are talking about or is on their mind is New Year resolutions. Ava and Bella, do you guys have any New Year's resolutions? I want to focus more on my schoolwork and keeping my room clean because I really don't keep my room clean that often and staying on top of the things that I need to do. I'm also trying to wake up earlier because in the morning when I don't wake up, I'm rushing around to get ready, get my lunch ready, get get my basketball bag together, everything like that. So trying to do the things that I need for the next day, the night before, and getting up earlier. I think for me, probably just staying more productive. Like, I'm on my phone, I want to think, what could I be doing right now that will actually help me? Instead of just like, laying around and let me start cleaning my room more and keeping everything clean and just be on top of stuff. But guys, I have a question. What does this mean to you? For me, the New Year's resolution is to make yourself a better person or find the goal that really means something for you. And one of the common things that everybody does is what's trendy or what's trending for a New Year's resolution, like going to the gym or redecorating your room or something like that. Like just doing something that everybody else is doing, but really you should be doing something that you think is working for you, something that's going to make you a better person. Try to benefit yourself instead of just... Yeah. doing something that will benefit others. I think what it means to me is just starting over and refreshing and being, can I do this or that? And like overall, just like changing to be more productive. Me too. One of my New Year's resolutions is trying to keep my room clean. I'm always having it so, so messy. And I don't know, I just can't keep it clean. Also to set goals, you don't always have to start at the new year. If you really want to start something that you think is going to make yourself feel better right once you think of it and you're like yes I really want to do this then just do it it doesn't always have to be the new year to start a new goal because every day is a new day yes but I know that everyone if you have like a new year's resolution you're like I want to do this like I have to and even if you don't have the drive to do or the motivation to do it you can just start little like baby steps and do like little things each day or even like once a week like just very little and like limit yourself to keep going forward but also to have that motivation yeah me Ava and Bella were talking about what we could do to talk about on the podcast and I was like well one of my friends was mentioning to me that she wanted to run three miles every day and I was like that is crazy you want to start with small steps first maybe run like Bella was saying a half mile or a quarter mile just around the block and then you can build yourself up because yeah. just starting and hitting yourself in the face with that, that's not good. That's not goals. That's just doing it, kind and of. And especially with running, like, you need to build up stamina. I remember when I first started running cross-country for school, and we, at our first meet, we had, like, it up on practice and stuff, but at our first meet when we ran a mile, I was really just, like, so, like, amazed that I could do it. Like, I didn't think I could do it. But we built up so much, and we practiced, and we built up stamina, and then we were able to just, like, run a mile and like but you just have to start slow taking the little baby steps to work towards a goal um for me I can mostly keep my room clean for most of the week but on days that I can't I try to think of five things that I can do right now to keep my room clean and then I try to do five more things to keep my room clean every day. I know that with Ava, because we chair a room, I know that she always, whenever our room's messy or something, she's like, we have to do this, like we have to finish, we have to clean, and I'm always like, I don't want to do it though, but then I always see something that could also help you guys. Ava always has a notebook next to her bed or like with a pen, and she always writes down like, uh, like it's like a to-do list kind of, and I think that also helps her a lot. She, she has lists of stuff that she like just checks off throughout the day. It could be like setting my bed, or filling up my water bottle, like all this stuff, and she just always like organizes it. So I feel like if you organize it and you have the drive, you can do it. And another thing that I want for the New Year's is healthy relationships. And I'm not talking about like like an <laughs> actual relationship. Yeah, like like friends. with your friends, friends and not the and ones family. Yeah. I just want to have healthy relationships with everyone. Recently in school, I feel like I've been having problems with having healthy relationships. And I just want to, for the new year, try and end it all. Being, like, 
not fake to everybody, but being there for Humble. everybody. Yeah. yeah. And not knowing who your true friends are because people that aren't benefiting me or doing the right things for me or making me make bad decisions. That's that not I'm, your friend. Yeah. Or that I know I shouldn't be making. That's not my friend. That's someone that just wants me to do something because they want me to do it. Also setting boundaries for your friends too. Like if they're trying to peer pressure you into doing something, you That's know you do not have to say yes. And I feel like another part of that is like with a healthy relationship, I feel like that goes along with our podcast, how you just have to be like kind to most people. You don't have to like them, but you should be always nice to them. And that's a like good way to start off a healthy relationship, especially with your friends. And being honest and not <clears throat> lying to your friends. And also a common theme with most people around here, not just girls, just everyone in general. If someone is doing something with their friends, I get that some people, they want one-on-one -on -one time, but if someone else asks to hang out, they'll be like, oh, my mom said I can't, or I can't do this, I can't do that. That's lying to your friends, and I just don't, that's not a true friend. If they really wanted to hang out with you, they would be like, I'm, doing, I'm hanging out with someone else right now, like, maybe we can hang out another time. Yeah, and I feel like that's a big part, especially on, like, us, like, people around our age, like, saying, like, like, they won't just include everyone. Like, it's, like, one-on-one -on -one time. And like Ava said, I understand that, like, people would want to do that. But I feel like it's also a really important lesson to learn that everyone can just be friends and everyone can hang out. But you don't always have to like them. Yeah. And another part of that is when someone says they don't want to hang out to me, my mind always rushes to so, there's a problem. Yes. Not like I'm not good enough, but there's a problem or something. But another thing I want to do for the New Year's is try to keep myself centered and not always have my mind racing all over the place. Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I feel like that's also a big part about, it. like, even New Year's resolutions, like, you're always like, I have to do it, I have to get it done. But if you just start little, like, it can really just help you, like, especially with what we're talking about now, about including other people and making everyone just, like, like healthy relationships. I feel like you just start little with everything, and it could really work out. The baby steps, and sometimes um, when you're trying to do a new goal, you'll try to make exceptions for yourself. And, like, being honest to yourself and realizing, oh, I didn't do this, but I can try again tomorrow. Um, just being like, oh, well, I kind of did it. That's not, like, working towards a goal as much as it is that you could really be trying your best to. I feel like you could overall just, like, how we keep saying, just little by little. Like, everything just works out. If you just, like, keep trying and, like, have the mindset and to start a New Year's resolution, it doesn't always have to be what everyone else is doing, like working out or like trying to eat healthier, stuff like that. Like always just, you could always just start with something that you know you don't do or like something you want to overcome, like a challenge. Or I know sometimes that I want to start like actually like focusing more on school, but I know that I have to take it like day by day and take it slow because. If I don't, I'm just going to have to, like, think that I have to rush into it. But I know that I can't do it all that fast. So I just take little steps and go and try and focus more in each and every class. And if I don't, I, like, realize that. And then I try and push myself to do it more. So, Anna, how are you going to stay on top of your New Year's resolution? Well, I'm going to try and when I'm done using something in my room, just automatically put it away instead of leaving it out and being, like, Oh, I'm just going to put it away later. And I do that a lot with my clothes because my mom will bring in my laundry and she'll be like, all right, put it away. And I'll just leave it there for days. Like, it will just sit there and I'll just pick, like, what clothes I want to wear to school, like, from it. I remember for, like, a while when we used to hang out when we were younger, I'd always have just, like, this laundry basket that would sit there in my room and my mom would be like, you need to clean it up before, like, Anna comes over or anyone else. And I'd be like, okay, I'll do it later. And I feel like I would always just end up, Ava, I think you remember this probably, I would end up, like, just throwing blankets over everything and, like, yeah. just fold clothes on top to make it look neat. But it was actually never done. Yeah, and my older sister is also in college. So when we didn't want to put something somewhere or... Most of the time, it was Bella when she didn't want to have to put her laundry away. She would put my older sister's clothes on top of it and then put that laundry basket in my older sister's room and be like, these are the clothes that she has to put away when she gets back. And another thing that we probably all struggle with is procrastination. Oh, my gosh. Yes, that was also a New Year's resolution that I wrote down. I need to stop procrastinating, which is how 
Anna said, I'll put this away later. I procrastinate all the time. I'll, when I get home from school, sometimes I just don't, I don't feel like taking a shower, even though I know I need to. But so I'm like, okay, I'll do it later. But then I just wait it out. And then my mom's like, Ava, you need to get in the shower now. And then I'm taking a super late shower and I don't go to bed on time. They and then I'm tired the next morning. Yeah, and I can't do my hair. It's just a Wake big Wake up late. It's and like then a cycle. your yeah. sleep schedule's all different. And that's also another thing about news resolutions. I want to start going to bed a little bit earlier, like even just an hour earlier and then trying to wake up earlier because then I can get, get <laughs> so much done, so much more done during the day if I get stuff done in the morning. Speaking of New Year's and time passing, let's talk about growth. Self-growth is one of the things that everyone's trying to improve on. And every day we, us, all of us, me, Anna, and Bella, we all improve with the podcast. We always think of new things to talk about and new ways that we can speak about things on the podcast. And in our very first episode, we almost had a script and it was five minutes long. And some of our recent episodes have been like almost 20 minutes and that's just us free talking. But our first episode, we were so tense and we were like, I don't know what to say. What do we do? We can't think of a topic. And we just th felt that we couldn't free talk. But in more recent episodes, we've been able to free talk. Yeah, and I feel like that's also leading with, like, um, <clears throat> how we need to, like, grow. And when we keep, if we keep doing this and keep trying at it, we're going to get better at it. Just like how when we were on the um, interview with Courtney and Kate, they were really able to just talk to them. And I remember after we went off the call with them, we were like, why can't we talk how they do? And then Mr. Robbins was like, they've been doing this for like a lot longer than you have. Like they're gonna be, they're gonna sound more fluent and talking freely and just be more comfortable. They were doing, their podcast is called Unsupervised Leadership. So if Please you haven't Go listened, check them out because yes. we're gonna be on their most recent episode that's coming out Saturday. Saturday morning. Yes. So anyway, they were talking to us and everything just felt so comfortable and like I didn't feel so tense the whole time I was nervous because I didn't want to mess up but the whole time I just felt everything was so free and everyone was just like themselves and we didn't have to say something just because like that was our job to do yeah. it was just a real interview and we all felt very comfortable and when they were asking us questions I feel like we were answering like Honestly, and that's what made it so much better. Like, we were just being ourselves. Yeah. So since they've been doing the podcast for a long time, they've had a lot of growth. And I listened to their very first episode before we interviewed Courtney in, like, our third episode. And then their most recent episode. And they had so much improvement. And everything just felt so much, more so like much better. And we hope that when we do more podcasting in the future that we're going to be very a lot better at this than we are right now because we're still learning just like they were. Yeah, and not only the podcast, but I think we all have growth mindsets where we learn new things every day, we make mistakes every day, learn from them, and I just think that's one of the specialties we have of living. So as we were talking about physical improvement, another way to go is mental improvement. Not even another way to go. You have to have good mental improvement if you want to get somewhere Having a goal, it's not just doing the goal. It's being able to have almost take in the goal, you know? Yeah. But you have to take it slow day by day, baby step by baby step. Also, don't be hard on yourself throughout your journey. You're going to have ups and downs, but if you just take it slow and be positive, you'll get there. But don't just think you're the only one with ups and downs. I know me, Ava, and Anna... We all can relate to this because with our podcast, we had to take it so slow. We did beat ourselves up a little bit in the beginning. It was, like, really hard to come up with topics, ideas, good things to talk about, good sp and having good speaking voices, and having good edit editing. But the list goes on. But how we are, where we are today. Is from lots of support from our family, school staff, and unsupervised leadership, with it, which is Kate and Courtney. Overall, we tried our best podcasting, and now podcasting is so fun and so rewarding. Walking through the hallways and hearing many of the staff congratulating us and telling us how great we are doing makes 
us so happy, making all of us so happy. And without all of you, we wouldn't have the confidence to keep on making more and more episodes. So we want to also talk about just our improvement, too, with our podcast, because I think in the beginning we were kind of slow. It wasn't going too well, but a lot of people were just kind of like hating on our podcast, I feel like. People Many of the kids from our school were like, a podcast? When are you going to say on a podcast? Or whenever it'd be on like the morning announcements. We have like videos for morning announcements and be like little clips of it. They'd be like, oh, that's really weird. Like, that's like an odd topic. Do you, what are you guys even doing? But now we kind of tune out the hate and with the staff, we have to cheer for ourselves, which I talk about home team advantage all the time. Yeah. Yeah. And just everyone being like, well, what do you say? And like that's a weird topic as Bella said but why we wanted to have this podcast with this topic is because it's not talked about enough it's something that we all feel is not talked about enough women empowerment helping other girls like get more confidence but um not even just girls like boys too and I feel like we never talked about how we started this podcast on our podcast yeah um we started this podcast because our school had gotten all of this podcasting equipment and we would they, like when you put on the headphones you can hear what you say so we would come in here during lunch break and just we would just put on talk. the headphones and just listen to ourselves talk because it sounded so cool and we i feel like it really really does sound like well obviously it does because it's like a microphone but we like it sounded so much like a podcast no it was like so cool just to like yeah. in like but we also got the opportunity because Miss Grimley, which is our art teacher and our digital arts teacher, she said that they're having a meeting for anybody that wants to have a podcast. And we all went to the meeting and all of our friends were like, oh, yeah, that would be really cool. But then when it really came down to it, a lot of people didn't want to do it when yeah. like you realize how much work it is. It the Unless editing. you find it fun, then you really don't want to yeah. do it because I find it fun because... We get to talk to other people that we don't even know, and we can't hear what they're saying, but I feel like I'm having a conversation with other people besides Bella and Anna, and they get to hear, you guys get to hear what I'm thinking about. And starting the podcast came with so many new good things to talk about good sp- and having good speaking voices and having good edit- editing, but the list goes on, but... How we are, where we are today. Is from lots of support from our family, school staff, and unsupervised leadership, with it, which is Kate and Courtney. Overall, we tried our best podcasting, and now podcasting is so fun and so rewarding. Walking through the hallways and hearing many of the staff congratulating us and telling us how great we are doing makes us so happy, making all of us so happy. And without all of you, we wouldn't have the confidence to keep on making more and more episodes. So we want to also talk about just our improvement, too, with our podcast, because I think in the beginning we were kind of slow. It wasn't going too well, but a lot of people were just kind of, like, hating on our podcast. I feel like people... Many of the kids from our school were like, a podcast? When are you going to say on a podcast? Or whenever it'd be on, like, the morning announcements. We have, like, videos for morning announcements and be like little clips of it they'd be like oh that's really weird that's like an odd topic and we all went to the meeting and all of our friends were like oh yeah that would be really cool but then when it really came down to it a lot of people didn't want to do it when like you realize how much work it is it unless you find it fun then you really don't want to do it because i find it fun because we get to talk to other people that we don't even know and we can't hear what they're saying but i feel like i'm having a conversation with other people besides Bella and Anna and they get to hear you guys get to hear what I'm thinking about and starting the podcast came with so many new like uh, opportunities and so much more and I feel like this circles back to having goals because you really if you don't love it you're definitely not going to be able to do it so me Ava and Bella we love doing this podcast we're motivated to do it so you really have to put your mind to it and which we all did and I'm actually really proud of us yeah, yeah, me too. too. <laughs> but so we were in the meeting and Miss Grimley was like, what do you guys want some podcast topics to be? And another one of the podcast groups was like sports. And me, Ava and Bella were talking and mm-hmm. I was like, I think I want to do women empowerment. So, so I was, that's what we chose to do. She just kind of was like, um, women empowerment. So then we yeah. all 
I just raised my hand. I was like, women empowerment. And then they were yeah. like, oh, that's great. <laughs> yeah. So then we came up with the name Power Up Podcast. And we made the Spotify account, recorded our first episode. Kind of, We kind of sound like robots, but where we came today, it's gotten so Our better. first yes. episode was just so, I don't want to say stingy, but we were all so up Nervous. tight and nervous and we felt that we needed a script and that we weren't going to be able to free talk but we weren't flowing with it yeah we didn't really have like much of a flow or much of an idea of what we were supposed to be doing but now we have a pretty good idea and hopefully by the time we graduate from the middle school next year we'll have a lot more people listening and a lot of people a couple more people i hope looking up to us and really taking our advice yeah Yeah. that's something i always think about especially when we graduate if we'll still continue the podcast which i i think we'll try to what we'll do we can just get like wireless microphones and just do it in our room i feel like it'd also be a cool thing if we come if we came back to the school for some episodes yeah and saw everyone else i feel like that'd be really fun or we can like talk about it we're actually going to this event called texpo Yes, and it's in New Jersey. We're going to present our podcast. It's in Harrah's, right? Yeah, it's, it's in, in the Harris. casino. And we're going to present our podcast to a bunch of people, which I think is quite amazing. Yeah. Yes, me too. And also being on the podcast, Unsupervised Leadership, which was also a very big opportunity. And also going back to our support, um, Mr. Robbins knows so many people and so many people that we felt that he said would want to be interested in getting interviewed to the podcast. And I just thought that was so cool. Like other people want to talk to us because we have a podcast and Miss Grimley is all, I said this, I think in our second episode, maybe Miss Grimley, anytime an episode comes out, she's like, I'm so proud of you. You guys did so good. Or she'll be like, she'll, she'll say that she was listening on the way to work and she'll be like, you guys made me cry in my car. Like, <laughs> and she's just so proud of us. And that's like an amazing thing to feel because other people are proud of what we're doing and other people are like, you're so wise beyond your years, which sounds like kind of old, but like, it's really, Which, it's like a good compliment though. Like, and I feel yeah. like most kids our age would just like not think that. Yeah. We all have our New Year's resolutions and the things that we want to do. And we're probably going to end up listening back to the podcast because we have to edit it and not only edit it, but also rethink of some of the things that we said about our goals. And we hope that all of you take some of our advice to help you succeed with your goals. Yes. And If you guys have any tips or think we can improve on something with our podcast, please let us know, like, via email or just come up to us if you know us personally. But thank you so much for joining us in another episode of Power Up Podcast. I'm Anna. And I'm Bella. And I'm Ava. And stay tuned for the next one. Please go to Unsupervised Leadership and And check out Courtney and Kate's podcast. Our our interview with them will be posted on Saturday, Saturday morning. January 13th. So this will probably get posted after that, but if it's not, go check it out.